All right, Fiona, we'll see in just a little bit. Well, despite those cold temperatures, the lines formed early this morning in Plano for the chance to meet former Alaska Governor Sarah Palin. She's signing copies of her new book, Going Rogue, today. Fox 4's Melissa Cutler is live at Legacy Books in Plano with more. Well, you know, Steve, the crowd has thinned out somewhat. It was very, very busy out here earlier this morning. At this point, um, about 100, 300, uh, 200, 300 people or so were out here. Groups of about a dozen or so were going inside Legacy Books for a glimpse of the uh, former Alaska governor. And when she arrived here about an hour ago, you could describe it as uh, nothing less than rock star's reception out here in Plano. People waited outside Legacy Books in Plano since very early this morning, braving the cold, wanting to be first in line to catch a glimpse of their political and cultural hero, Sarah Palin, the one-time Republican vice presidential nominee. Hundreds of people have been waiting outside in the cold, all bundled up, many from North Texas, some from as far away as Shreveport, Louisiana, and further. She's awesome. She's dynamic. She's such an inspiration. She's just, uh, I mean, she's just, she walks the walk and talks the talk. You know, she doesn't just say she's pro-life. She had a Down syndrome child at the age of 44. I just admire her. She's very, she's full of conviction. She believes in freedom, and we do not want our rights and freedoms taken away in America. We want to be able to live out our freedom and to do the things that we've always done in America. It's to support the United States of America and all our soldiers that are fighting for our freedom, and we don't want anybody to take those rights away. Now, you needed a ticket to get inside and get that book signed. That surprised some people out here say that they didn't know that. Still, they were glad to be part of all of this. Back now live outside Legacy Books. Sarah Palin is expected to stay here till about 2 o'clock or so. Then she is headed later this afternoon to Fort Hood. We're live in Plano. Melissa Cutler, Fox 4 News. Former GOP vice presidential candidate Sarah Palin went rogue this morning in Plano. An anxious crowd waited in the wee hours of the morning for a chance to meet and greet Palin during her book signing tour called Going Rogue. Fox 4's Melissa Cutler was there bright and early this morning. Melissa. That's right, Steve. You know, only those with tickets who bought a book a month in advance were allowed through the door. Some people who lined up said that they didn't know that, but they stuck around anyway just to get a glimpse. Sarah Palin arrived just after 11 o'clock this morning morning to a warm reception on a very cold day. Once inside, the former governor of Alaska signed books, briefly interacting with her fans. But at one point, she stopped to have a chat with a woman who brought her Down syndrome son to meet Palin. After that talk, the mother spent some more time with Palin's husband, Todd, and their Down syndrome son, Trig. Well, she told me we had to go see her baby, Trig, and let them play. <laughs> um, just sweet as can be. Just wonderful down-to-earth woman. I, I just, I love her so much. Sarah Palin's fans had waited hours for her in the cold, some of them overnight. Those three hours in Plano was her only North Texas appearance. Palin is headed to Fort Hood, where she will sign books for soldiers and their families privately. Melissa Cutler, Fox 4 News. Sarah Palin's Going Rogue tour rolled through North Texas today. Fans waited for hours outside in the freezing cold for a chance to meet her. And one woman got more than a signed book from the former vice presidential candidate. Fox Force Melissa Cutler has our story. $100. Adam Comer understands the free market, especially when it comes to Sarah Palin. No, she's going to be the next president of the United States. I want to meet her. The laws of supply and demand were in full swing, not just inside, but outside Legacy Books in Plano. $100 in a book for your ticket. At the book signing for her memoir, Going Rogue. I'm going to give you $100 for your book. What? I'm going to give you $100 for your time book. No deal. No, I'm not interested. I think I really want my book. The bidding went higher. I can go get another hundred dollars or you'll hold my ticket. I'm focused in here, lady. I need your help. Two <laughs> hundred? No? No? Access to the former governor of Alaska and one-time GOP vice presidential candidate was priceless to Adam. This can work out. And others. She holds some of the same family principles that a lot of us do. Me as a Christian, I believe in all the stuff that she talks about. Some slept in their cars overnight. We came out here at 10 and then came back about 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. Others camped. I'm just excited to see her and tell her that I support her. And, you know, if she decides to run in 2012, 
I would vote for her. Palin arrived just after 11 to a rock star reception, briefly shaking hands with those who braved the brittle cold. Once inside, she signed books, briefly interacting with her fans. But she stopped to have a chat with a woman who brought her Down syndrome son to meet Palin. After that talk, the mother spent some time with Palin's husband, Todd, and their Down syndrome son, Trig. Just sweet as can be. Just wonderful, down to earth woman. I, I just. I love her so much. As for Adam, I don't want the book. I just want to meet her. He finally got his wish. So, uh, how much did you make? 100 bucks. I think she represents something that a lot of people think are missing. And uh, that's what they're kind of banking on. That's what they're hoping for. Right about now, Sarah Palin is holding a book signing at Fort Hood. She changed her tour schedule to go there following the November massacre that left 13 people dead and 29 others wounded.